Dean Baradelli from Brooklyn GOP Radio, standing here with Congressman Bob Turner from Brooklyn, New York, and Queens as well. I'll, I'll throw Queens in there. Uh, Congressman, it's great to have you here. Welcome to CPAC. Well, it's nice to be here at CPAC. Uh, nice contrast to the Occupy Wall Street crowd. Oh, absolutely. It's a great contrast. Uh, it's been very busy up in Washington. Uh, tell us some of the things that you've been working on recently. I know that the, uh, the mandate well, for Obamacare has been primary on your list here. Uh, uh, that is only one of the issues. We have um, uh, some important budgeting issues on the transportation bill, which is uh, getting a little contentious. Because the national needs are not quite the same as what they are in New York and our constituents. So uh, it's a, we're not arguing over the size of the money or even the reduction in the size of the money or how it's spent. And, uh, tr mass transit versus highways and what flexibilities the states may have. So I'm in the middle of this fight. Right. And uh, Well, what I love about what your office does, sir, is that you not only deal with the national things here and, you know, of course, dealing with concerns in Israel and things like that, you also deal with the citizens at home. I read a wonderful story recently about a, a, a medal that you got for a service oh. member recently. Why don't you tell everybody about that? That, that by the way, Gene, was one of the, the more fun things I had to do as a uh, Absolutely. Uh, a 92-year-old gentleman who had served in the um, Second World War in North Africa, Sicily, and uh, Italy, was worthy of a medal, and because of some records problem, uh, his, his original Purple Heart was never awarded. And as we went through it, we saw he was eligible for a higher medal, the Bronze Star. So we were able to do that uh, last week in district with um, a soldier in uniform from um, uh, Fort Hamilton, and um, he and his wife were there, and we counted his incredible experiences uh, and I had the honor of pinning that medal on him. And uh, that's fantastic. Nice that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and again, all of us in Brooklyn, we're keeping up with what you're doing as well. We saw also that you signed on to that bill with Congressman Grip for the, the natural gas pipeline in the Atlantic. And that's uh, something yes. and that tell everybody about it. Even well. took a shot from the Daily News on it. I know. <laughs> well, you see, and this is what I don't get. Because uh, you, this is a bill that you're supporting that will create jobs, will not cost the government anything, and we get some a more energy in the city. Uh, it is, it's an important uh, uh, bill. It's an important uh, piece of legislation to get through to make sure we can clear the way to get some uh, private um, enterprise work done. Uh, it's a good thing. And uh, uh, Michael uh, was on this before me, and I, I picked up uh, uh, halfway through this project, but I'm very happy to be part of it. And, uh, it's an improvement. Uh, so that, that's great. And uh, you know what? You're doing a great job in Congress. I know that people in my neighborhood are very happy with what's going on in Chipset Bay. And uh, what you did for Plum Beach and having the, the plan being brought in there is everybody loves that as well. Thank you so much for being on. And you can check us out at BrooklynGOPRadio.blogspot.com. And uh, we'll put this interview up, and uh, you'll get to hear more from Congressman Turner later.